at least you didn't watch a hunk of shit. I, I, I was reading uh, some of the tweets oh. from Jimmy Norton. Uh, and it, it was hilarious because I felt uh, I felt like I was transported back in time to the days um, of yesteryear. Uh, yesteryear, another another century, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, fucking movie made me so angry. That fucking Phantom Phant Menace. He George Lucas. Yes. I'm sorry. He might be he eats balls. He say it. You know, like a long time ago in a galaxy far, far. It's away. time to say he's overrated. I um, I saw the first two. I didn't watch the third one in the trilogy. The, the second one was extraordinarily dull, but it got there were some really cool parts of it. Yeah. But uh, then I watched. Someone told me to go see that guy, Red Edit or whatever. The, who's the guy that does the fucking? It's the funniest thing I've seen on YouTube. Is the guy b destroying the Phantom Menace? Oh, really? It's a fucking one hour review on oh, video, wow. and it is fucking. Hilarious! Somebody directed me to it. Oh, uh, where's the plug? Let's get other people oh, to my, check it out. It's three million I, people have watched this thing already. I've never seen it. He destroys Phantom Menace. You didn't I, like Jar Jar Binks? <laughs> he didn't even go after Jar Jar that much. He just no, kept calling was, him a cartoon Robert. But the guy killed it on the story. The protagonist, like he really destroyed it. Wow. He, is this it? Now, what didn't you like? Possibly fuck up the entire backstory to Star Wars. Star Wars. <laughs> While my son eventually hanged himself in the bathroom of the gas station, <laughs> the unfortunate reality of the Star Wars prequels is that they'll be around forever. They will never go away. A word. They this... could never be undone. Is that his real voice? No, I don't someone think so, who's no. under the age of like 20 says his least favorite film in the series is The Empire Strikes Back because it was the most boringest one. Then I suggest you shut this review off right now <laughs> before I carefully explain how much of a fucking idiot you are. So where do I possibly I start? This guy's voice. I hate you, Crunchy. Nothing in The Phantom Menace makes any sense at all. It comes off like a script written by an eight-year-old. It's like George Lucas finished the script in one draft. Like, turned it in, and they decided to go with it without anyone saying that it made no sense at all. It was incoherent mess. This guy's crazy. at this point, who's going to question George or tell him what to do? I take it. Yeah. You say action after we roll camera? I'll say action. Some, some sometimes people, sometimes some I people forget. People forget that. If I forget to say action or cut, just step in and say action or cut. He controls every aspect of the movie. He probably got rid of those people that questioned him creatively a long time ago. <laughs> I also think that everyone just assumed that a Star Wars prequel would be an instant hit, regardless of what the plot was. Really, how hard could it be to screw up? It's like screwing up mashed potato. You boil the water and pour it the packet. Number one. <laughs> the biggest and most glaring problem with the Phantom Menace is the characters. This is like the most obvious part of movie making, but I guess I gotta explain it when talking about this turd. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start at movie making 101, shall we? Shall See, in most movies, the audience needs a character to connect with. Typically, this character is something called a protagonist. When you're in a <laughs> weird movie with like aliens and monsters and weirdos, the audience really needs someone who's like a normal person like them to guide them through the, the He's story. showing Luke Skywalker. Now, yeah. This of course doesn't apply to every movie, but it works best in the sci-fi, superhero, action, and fantasy <laughs> genres. <laughs> I picked a few examples to illustrate this point. He you don't have to go through it. This is literally it's an hour long. You know, I know, but it's... But he it's, brilliantly it kept fucking dissects yeah. the entire... Like, why the characters stink, what you don't know. Like, if I was Lucas and I saw this, I would blow my brains out. I, I'm so watching that. Oh, that, that, that I like the wars. That was a great trailer for the, this little series that he put up on, on oh. the web. Because I'm so watching that. It looks hilarious. There was one thing in there that kind of, it, was, it looked like a spoiler for a later one. So I paused it all it was almost done. I, I laughed. I fucking howled alone watching this. <laughs> and then I watched uh, the second one, which was the Clones one. Yeah, the Clone Wars. And just, again, all I kept thinking of is how there's no fucking 
connectable character. Hayden Christensen stinks. How awful. He's terrible, dude. Is Hayden Christensen. And even Natalie Portman is not good in those. And no. she's great, but she stinks in those. You know who's good? The old guy that played Dooku? Lord Dooku? Oh, yeah. Who's well, that? He's fucking uh, a famous uh, yeah, I know. Old, oldie actor. Um, who's been in a lot of uh, uh, movies? Uh, Christopher Lee. Yeah, oh, that was Christopher Lee. Yeah. Oh, right I, I kept thinking it looks like Christopher Lee. Christopher I didn't know Lee him. is is good. Uh, your, your comments though on fucking like Darth Maul. <laughs> you didn't like Darth Maul. No, and I hadn't watched this. Uh, <laughs> by the way, I had not watched this review until after I was done Twitter. I didn't yeah. know that someone connected me to that. When you said Darth Maul. Uh, it would have been better if they would have called him scary. What? Oh, so be a mean man, scary mean face. man, scary face. <laughs> he stunk. <laughs> he fucking stunk. You didn't like that lightsaber fight? No, it was awful. I mean, With it was him and uh, I didn't care about it. And and again, the old old soy sauce head. <laughs> the guy explained it better than I could. Like, what I Twittered was basically as deep as I went with it. And mm -hmm. then I went and watched this review afterwards. And it's like it, you can't unsee the review. Like, the the lack of... A, I didn't give a fuck about those characters at all, so I didn't care that they were fighting. And, uh, uh, I gotcha. You know, I, 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 there's an old thing in acting, and I believe me, as a moderate or awful actor, <laughs> play the man, not the uniform, they say. Uh -huh. Like, when you're playing a cop, you don't, you don't go, Hey, pull over! <laughs> I do, because I'm awful. But a real <laughs> actor... Like, look at Mark Hamill or something, or Harrison Ford. They were these interesting people... And this is what they did. Right. Hayden Christensen and Natalie Portman, they were playing the part. Like, they were trying to be princessy. Princess uh -huh. Leia didn't seem like a princess. No. She seemed like a chick who was a princess. Mm -hmm. That's why you liked her. And that's what this fucking... Uh, and I kept walking, mm. watching Hayden Christensen and going, he's not playing, he's playing the uniform. Hayden Christensen, uh, Christensen terrible, could dude. not fucking play anything. He just stinks. I, I've, I, I actually watched one other movie with he's him in it. He's fucking horrible, dude. Uh, and and he's, just a, he's just a bad actor. Well, he's kind of gone away. Yeah, yeah. Hollywood's pretty much done with him. Yeah, he's 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 done. Skate. They're not done with Jack Black and Steve Martin, Ugh. though. Oh, but they're done with Hayden. That's not as if it's Jack Black and Steve Martin movie. You knew it stink, but that's not as offensive as this because I George Lucas. The dialogue in this was fucking terrible. Yeah, horrid. And to put Jar Jar Binks and give him that much, I don't comprehend it. Right. I don't comprehend how a guy who's supposed to be smart gives that fucking uninteresting, unfunny. Enraging character. Changes the whole series. It makes you hate it. Mm -hmm. And Liam Neeson was good, but like, uh, like yeah, the yeah. Liam was all right. Liam's... Why was he in it? He did nothing. Right. Gave a fuck about him. It was kind of odd that he he's he was in it, and then he's just you know not. Uh, and then I I did kind of like uh, Ian as a young Obi Wan Kenobi because of Obi Wan Kenobi. Like he kind of did a good impression of a younger version of Obi Wan, but. Again, put in that storyline and everything, it just it, mm. it didn't matter how well he did. The language stunk, though, because they kept saying, Ah, my young pre apprentice. Ah, oh, yes, my, my apprentice. My young Padawan. No one, it's like, they didn't talk like that in the first couple. They, that's why you liked them. That's why you liked fucking Harrison Ford and Mark Hamill, because they were just being themselves. Mark Hamill whining his way <laughs> through uh, the beginning of that movie. Ah, and for real, Uncle Owen, you're fucking barbecued. <laughs> Do you know who I love was the guy that played Boba Fett's father. His name, he's an actor named oh, yeah, I don't Django know, Fett. Django um, Fett. Temuera Morrison, his name is, if I'm saying it right. Big Samoan motherfucker. No, he's from New Zealand. He was is a he? soap actor. And he was starred in a movie called Once Were Warriors. Oh. He was fucking great. So I was happy to see him. And they didn't really got that dynamic thing going. or I don't know. It oh, stunk. The yeah, first two were terrible. A little fight out in the rain was kind of cool. Uh, that yeah, was there was a couple yeah. of good scenes. That was a good scene. There's, when they're going through the production thing, and he's getting, like, the, you know, he's trying to save Natalie Portman. But then you're just watching robots fight. And I hated the big Jedi scene. It was like old Samuel Jackson, uh, and stupid Yoda spinning in the air like a toy. <laughs> Fuck George Lucas. <laughs> he's a dick. How old is this movie now? Exactly. 2002, I think. I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> Are we yet back at NEW? It really is. That's what made it so fun to watch. It was like... Like, Jimmy, saw you saw this for the first time. I've never seen... I'm gonna watch Ten years the, later, almost. I'm going to watch that dumb Sith movie tomorrow, which I hear is better than the other two. It mm. is like watching... It was like reading the tweets of a retard. Because yeah, it enough, was but. so... It was shit from so long ago. You're like... Most oh, people have seen the movie multiple it. times. Yeah, which which made it better, too. Because, first of all, you don't got to worry about spoilers. Mm -hmm. And secondly, it, it, you you're so f detached by time from it that you almost forget about well, the things that you sat in the movie theater and went like, oh, sure. God.
Well, the Phantom Menace was 99, so we are talking the previous century. Yeah. Wow. We're talking about an, another century. <laughs> yeah. so we're talking 12 years ago. Yeah. Well, I mean, let's bring it back to current time here. I mean, the big year was a terrific movie. I, I don't know why it didn't do well at the oh, box office. Please. We should We should play the trailer for Jimmy. Have you seen the trailer for the big year? With Steve Martin and uh, Jack Black? Uh, I saw it when I, I, I actually went to the movies uh, recently. I saw a movie called um, Drive. Sure, how was that? Which, uh, that's, uh, I guess, the same movie that woman sued because the trailer was misleading. Oh, right. It made it look like an action movie, and it turned out to kind of be a, a little romance movie with some... And she's suing over crime that? Crime shit thrown in. Yeah, you know. You know how some fucking dumb cunts can litigate anything. You should have to pay the legal fees of the opponent if you oh, do that. Oh, absolutely. England got it right with that shit. Of course. L look at the trailer, though. The big year. You got to see this, Jimmy. This is terrific. <laughs> There's going to be major fallout in a few hours. Nuclear fallout. Jack Black. Bird fallout. If you oh, wondered what killed your marriage to Steph in 03. First of all, I was married to Bridget in 03. January 1st, oh. I'm out of here. You realize the phase after retirement looks a little bit like this? You quit school, you quit work. Yeah. Great talking to you. Oh, that Jack Black, big, you know? We need a little making faces. Doing a big year. The year to do all the things we never could. Yeah. No. You think they'd be exhausted by now? Race to the bottom. Oh. They're turning their quest. Oh. Yeah. If they ever stop competing, they die. Into the ultimate competition. Oh, who yeah. gives a this shit? I'm right. going to take my mark. <laughs> I fell. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Black fell. <laughs> Contagious, <laughs> it's contagious. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> Can't miss the flight. There's not another one for a week. Oh, he's running. See, Mark running after another plane. Cooking? Yeah. From the director of The Devil Wears Prada. Oh, and God. Oh. That'll sell a movie. Whoa. Oh, uh, Jack Black doing a funny dance. Doing a wacky dance. dance. No. Maybe. He's yes, fucking awful. Big or go home. You bought me drinks and got what you wanted. Really? You don't want to know. I like when the music stops. And Steve Martin and fucking Owen Wilson are both wearing the tiny, douchey mountain climber from the Price is Right hat. I'm so glad this movie fucking made $11. Tanked. Horrible. That's kind of like to put this shit out. It looks terrible. It, it, it's kind of like the bucket list, isn't it? Oh, it, yeah. Only they're not dying. Oh, no, I know. In, in the movie, be, <laughs> just the box office. Yeah, the box office. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm surprised that didn't do well. <laughs> really surprised. Uh, man. Forty percent on. How Rotten much money Tomatoes. did it make over the weekend? I heard like three million. Is that three point three. Three, three million Good. dollars for How a big got budget it? film? How it even got 62% uh, as far as the public is concerned? Just, again... Well, that's why they make these like movies. because dumb people yeah. are. That's why they continue to make them. Because Have you seen it? Jack Black, he's they, so funny. We gotta go. They lower their bar. Oh, boy. He's awful. I've never yeah. liked him in anything. I thought he ruined King Kong. Yes, he did. Um, I thought he was... He had a couple of funny lines in that Danny McBride movie uh, where he was chained to a tree or something. It was... Oh, uh, with uh, the Tropic Thunder. Tropic Thunder. Oh, right, right. I didn't. I didn't mind him in King Kong. To be honest, oh, I thought he was no, it was awesome. too mind over him. the top. He, fucking well, because the movie itself like, was kind of cartoony. Oh, so I, thought I didn't he was mind it. Terrible, like really miscast. Like I liked. Uh, I'm I, not saying I loved it. I just didn't. You know, I was like Adrian Brody. I liked in that. And who was the chick? Uh, Naomi Watts. Adrian Brody. I, I like Adrian Brody movies. They're pretty fucking good. You ever see the jacket? No, no. that's fucked up, man. Is that about a guy who? Has a jacket. <laughs> Puts on a jacket. Wears a coat. And he, and he walks around and goes, I'm a lot warmer with this on than I was without it. That sounds like a the spy end. movie that bees would make. <laughs> <laughs> Yellow jackets. The, the jacket. <laughs> it's weird. Now, it's kind of a, a almost like a sci-fi weird thriller thing. When did this come out? It's a while ago. Yeah, I'm going to check this one yeah, out. Yeah, it, it, it's a pretty good fucking movie. Really weird. He's a good actor, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. he is. And uh, uh, you there, see the but... uh, pianist? Yeah, where he's uh, mm -hmm. a Jew and uh, a piano player in, in Nazi Germany, and uh, actually, I guess in Warsaw. Well, he won the Oscar for that. 
Yeah, that was really fucking good. Well, to wrap up our movie talk, we really should talk about Jack and Jill because that trailer was all over the football oh, yesterday. God, that damn. fucking movie looks terrific. We ripped that fucking piece of shit apart. I wish, uh, it, and and it just it, it it astounds me that Adam like Sandler that are, are made. I wish Adam oh, Sandler yeah, listened sure. to us because I would tell him to just take take the copy of Jack and Jill. Yeah, the original. And throw it in the garbage. <laughs> the, the, the original. Just throw bit. it in the garbage. Adam Sandler is <laughs> Jack <laughs> and Jill. <laughs> Adam Sandler and Adam Sandler. <laughs> I hate that. Is there even a chance that this is going to be a massively funny movie? No. It could be successful, obviously, because no, for I some don't... reason, people love Adam Sandler movies. They no. can't get enough of Adam Sandler movies. What was the last funny one he put out? We asked I, that I all don't the time, know. and no one could figure it out. I don't know, man. And people don't like things like, you know, Happy Gilmore and stuff. And there are some people that just don't like those. When they first came out, before you got to look at it. Uh, uh, with uh, hindsight, you can't look at it in, uh, 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 with the way he is now. Right. Remember when that first came out? You're like, "Fucking Adam Sandler's funny. That movie's funny." Mm -hmm. That you know. Now, when you watch it, you just think of the now Adam Sandler and what he turned into, and it's kind of like, ah, "That sucks too." Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, we don't have to do the trailer again, do we? For Jack nah, and Jill? No, no, it's him thing. and it, uh, his sister are twins, and instead of uh, just getting a chick that kind of looks like him. Uh, it's Adam Sandler playing the the girl too, so he's he's in drag. He figures it works for Medea, right? So why not he you know maybe do this Medea franchise thing like that? It's uncomfortable to watch that trailer. Oh. By the way, you're Adam Sandler. What the fuck? Yeah, this is the best idea you had. Man, that's laying all around. Got, that's all we got to work on right now. I was going to dress like a girl uh, uh, and be my own sister. Oh. Did you see the Geico shit? Will they just? Fucking Enough move on from the goddamn caveman already. Enough of that. They had him in the locker room in a cheerleader's outfit. I guess that was supposed to be a big laugh. Oh, that's and... hilarious. Everyone's so hilarious. Why are they continuing with that fucking thing? Because people are stupid and think it, 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 that you, you'll find people out there that chuckle at it. At, at the Geico caveman? Uh, yeah. Find me one. I, I know. Especially after find the sitcom. Find me a jury. Especially after the sitcom bombed. Yeah. Find me one. Oh, you know what else I saw? Uh, go back to movies for a second. Over the weekend, uh, uh, just last night, actually. It, uh, and I hadn't seen it in so many years, but Jimmy had talked about it um, a lot uh, uh, over the past year or so. And I, I guess when I first watched it, I, I didn't have a real appreciation for the acting. I was, I, What's that? Fucking Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. Oh, man. Mm. Holy mother of fucking Jack Lemon. Ugh. Is so goddamn. There, everyone's good in it. When he goes, Pacino's in, fucking great. Like, in it. like you're an asshole, uh, and he throws a lemon drop in his mouth. Yeah, yeah. You're an asshole. I'm done here. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm, I'm finished I'm with done. you. I'm I want those leads, and I want them now. Yes, <laughs> I need leads. <laughs> I need leads. It's so fuck. And Alec Baldwin is on just for the beginning of it. Yeah, cameo. And he is fucking great. And such a, a, a complete scumbag. <laughs> but you see why they were smart to keep uh, Pacino out of that scene because it would have been it would have been too the two alpha males. It wouldn't have right. worked. Right now, all these other guys are kind of backing down to Alec Baldwin, who has an answer for everything and just can shit on all these people. But Pacino would have sat there Ugh. and not not taking the shit because he was working and uh, making the money. Yeah. Look oh. at Jack Lemmon. I am not fucking. With yeah, just put I'm that coffee down. That's for closers. Yeah. I'm here for Mitch and Murray. And I'm here on a mission of mercy. <laughs> He's so fucking good in this. When this came out, 92, I Levine. think, or something like that? Yeah. You call yourself a salesman? You what a sad bitch? sack Jack Lemmon was, I don't man. I listen to this shit. You certainly don't, pal. Because the good news is you're fired. Oh, the bad news is the old guy. you've got all you've Jesus. got just one week to regain your job, starting with tonight. Starting with tonight's sit. What an awful job oh. to have. Go out and try to sell now? land to people. Uh, the rain. Yeah. Good. Oh, when he comes in and he's like... Because we're adding a little something uh, to this month's sales contest. As you all know, first prize is a Cadillac Eldorado. A Cadillac a Eldorado. <laughs> Second prize is a set of steak knives. <laughs> Third prize is you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> and Harris was good too. Oh, just was he fucking great. like, 
Miserable. Picture. You're laughing now. You got leads. Mitch and Murray paid good money. The de yeah, Jesus. the desperation of Jack Lemon in oh. that it uh, kills you, right? Especially at the end where you know uh, he's trying to talk his way out of trouble with Kevin Spacey, and uh, he's like so desperate, and he's trying to work the smarmy sales guy angle. Uh, and it's just not working. Oh, come on, John. You know, yeah, I, yeah. I can get hot, John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get hot. We, you know, I'll give you 50%, 50% of all my... Because uh, his daughter was in the hospital. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Couldn't spend time with her because he had to go out in the rain. He goes to that guy's house, and the guy just wants no part of him in his house, and... He's trying so hard to, to stay in and just keep talking to the guy. Oh, it's the little lady here, and the guy's like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, when he's like, uh, when he sold Bruce and Elliot Nyborg, and he got them to sign. <laughs> and they're lunatics. <laughs> <laughs> that it's, it's is a really amazing movie. You saw the play. Now, what, what part did Alan Alda play? He played the Shelley Levine part. He played Lemon's part. Oh, he did? But I preferred... Uh, and then, uh, who else was in that? It was... Uh, I forget the guy who played... Uh, Pacino's part was a good actor. Uh, Liam, uh, Liam Schreiber. Uh -huh. And uh, Jeffrey Tambor was in it. Tom Wopat was in it. Um, very good cast. But I thought that... Uh, I didn't like the way Alda played Shelley Levine. He made just a character choice, which I preferred Jack Lemmon. Yeah, Lemmon comes off like the aging kind of poor salesman guy. Oh, Oh, the machine Levine. <laughs> oh, God. Gotta smell your farts for a week. <laughs> yeah. Pacino. Pacino was fucking great, man. It was great. When he's telling the guy, the guy's like, oh, no, I was on the, the I was on the board who drafted that. Like, just the way these guys will lie. Just <laughs> the lying. The lie. And then when Kevin Spacey fucks the whole thing up, and he's like, you cunt. He's calling him a cunt. You fairy. You fairy. <laughs> You're a fucking cunt. <laughs> And that moment where he realized Lemon put his foot in his mouth. If you're going to make something up, John, at least know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, what? What? How did you know I made yeah. it up? How did yeah. you know? Oh. Yeah, could you play a little bit of Lemon right Br there? Brutal. Now we just sit there and I got my pen out. Always be closing. He's talking about closing oh, the deal. Say in the old ways, right? Convert that motherfucker, sell him, make him sign the check. Now they got their money in government bonds. I said to myself, fuck it, let's go all the way, huh? The whole route. I take it and plat it out. Eight units, 82 grand. And I say to them, this is now. This is that thing that you have been dreaming of. You are going to find the suitcase on the train. The man walks in the room. That bag is filled with money. That's Harriet, great is fucking it. acting, man. When you look at that, it's like, fuck you. No, I don't. I don't want to pussyfoot around, huh? You think you got to look back on this thing? I do, too. Now, I'm here to do good for you and me, the both of us. Everything, what like what, how he's moving. Position, how do you do that? that I his arms, his elbows are almost at his torso. Yeah. yeah. That's just it. all eight units, period. What a great... I got it's so natural hand, and just great. I turned that contract around. That's eight units, 82 grand. And I 82 said, grand. I want you to sign. Sign. I sat there five minutes. And then I sat... The, 22 minutes by that kitchen clock on the wall. Ricky, not a word, not emotion. And what am I thinking? Is my Ricky Rome. No, I did it. <laughs> Just like the old days, like I used to, like I was taught, I did it. Like you taught me. The whole hey, no, nobody. Oh. Did. Well, if I did, I'm glad. <laughs> no, what I did, I Where am I? I know. Oh, that he's so laugh thing fucking is, good, it's man. Just, it, that's that's oh, an amazing acting. Last that's, last what it, that's what that is. To be that. To, that time. Yeah. To be that guy, to be the guy, and be like when you're acting, to be the guy, like mm. that, he really is a real estate salesman. Yeah, when you watch uh. that, he, you never are taken out of the moment that you even know that it's Jack Lemon. It's, it's like, all right, I've seen Jack Lemon in uh, other movies. He's that guy. But watch Hayden Christensen try to uh. bumble through a line. Oh, Kenobi's gonna be mad. <laughs> Literally, that's how I would have said it, and I suck. <laughs> you don't have the, the good looks. You can pull That's, it off if you have the good looks. Dude, they, then it doesn't matter how well you act. What a terrible fucking choice to play Amazing. a young Vader. What a terrible fucking choice. Yeah, because he was another whiny ass in that movie. You know, it's not fair. It's not fair. You're fucking Darth Vader. Stop it with it's not fair. They should have got someone harder looking. Yeah, Did he have to be fucking beautiful? He was trying to fucking, Ugh. you know, get the, the, uh, hate the teen girls in there is what he wanted to do. Lucas is like, well, I already, I, anything I do, I'm going to get the... 
uh, teen boys in there. Right. We're going to get the geeky guys that are going to be in there. So I could put out any piece of shit. They're going to say it. How do I get the bigger audience, the teen girls? Oh, I'll get a, a heartthrob and, and, and cast him in the fucking role of the most important character. Uh, it just, yeah, a little Lucas. Jack Stop Black should have done it because his eyebrows could have raised. He could have went, ah. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, oh, oh. I was so pissed off uh, this weekend trying to watch um, Menace to Society on, like, regular TV. <laughs> like, what? Ah. And then I, I search for it everywhere on every fucking thing I have to get movies on. Yeah. And it's just not there. I can't get it on Netflix. Couldn't get it on it's like that movie should fucking be available. That is such a great movie. Is it? I'm hey, you want a cheeseburger? Anyone want a cheeseburger? This is this is turning into old movie day. Hey, partner. What the fuck's going on? Hey, partner. That fucking movie is just great. Yeah. Play the tape. Play the tape. Oh, that's where they, they sh your mother oh, should be. My, yeah. I feel sorry for your mother. The, but every other word is fuck you and nigger. And they just cut it out. Like, like do, every <laughs> fucking thing. Do they throw something the else in there? It was. It might as well have been a silent movie. In person. In person. In yeah. person. No, they just like cut it out. That would be funny to take a scene from Menace uh, and just put "in person" in every person? time they say it. Yeah, why not? Right. I feel sorry for your mother. That could be kind of. What'd fun. you say? Fun little bit. Play the tape. Oh, look! And they're playing the fucking security tape in their crib while they're smoking weed, <laughs> laughing at the poor Asian guy just getting his brains blown out. <laughs> It fucking that is uh, th uh, during this time there were a lot of like uh, what year did this come out there were a lot of those uh, like you know gangster movies and shit like that yo thug movies and shit uh but that one is like i think one of the best ones out of all of them it's fucking great i don't remember it yeah that's a good one is it ruthless 93 fucking ruthless yeah but don't watch it on regular tv <laughs>